Hello guys, so welcome to this episode uh, where I'll be providing more insights into the Dragonland full game version which is now live in testnet. So uh, you can actually go online and try out this testnet version of this game. So the Dragonland beta test actually finished 10 days ago and the team eventually moved forward towards uh, its developmental plan to release the testnet version of this game. and. Let's explore what the team has an offer for you in the upcoming full version of the game. So here you could see the activity log. So uh, when you try out this game, you this activity log actually helps users to record their activities. Uh, these activities range from the battle to deposit and withdrawal, upgrade of cards, the arena ticket, quest reward chain, history, as well as the gacha. So with the activity log, if you are if you have an incomplete transaction, so you can actually come back and finish up your transaction. And in the quest system, in the open beta game, there are two types of quest system for users to accomplish. Yeah, you have the daily quest and the weekly quest. So it is very easy to understand the rules of the daily quest. So all you have to do is follow and complete the required task in the quest board. And then the task can be using a specific card in PVP battle or winning a certain number of matches. So once you do that, you complete your daily quest. So as you can see from the illustration here, that there are bonus rewards in each milestone. So once you complete these milestones, you a box, the box is clickable. So you click this box here to uh, claim your reward. So you could see here, the box is actually indicating 300 gold coins. And once you click that, you get your rewards. Now the daily quest is reset every day. So at midnight, so you get to an 000 UTC and it is not accumulated. So if you forget to claim your reward, you eventually lose them. So try to claim your rewards before midnight every day. The weekly quest is actually similar to the daily quest, uh, except that it is reset also every week at midnight. And the maximum reward for daily quest is 1,100 gold, while that, uh, as well as 250 DOR per user. So for the weekly test, you can accumulate as much as 800 gold and 400 DOR, as well as winning an extra guardian egg. Now you could also see the training mode, which is actually free and unlimited. So here you can, uh, in this training mode, you can actually uh, get gold and it's limited per day, the number of times you can try. So you can reach a limit of 1000 gold for training mode. The daily arena is like the daily version of the leaderboard in close beta game, which uh, the rewards will be given daily. However, it's for, for the rules to participate in this is a bit different. So there are two types of users. We have the free users and the paid users. The free users have five tickets to play PVP daily. And once you have run out of your free tickets, you will then need to buy to play in gameplay. Then there are uh, the free users also become paid users. Okay, so you only get paid tickets, uh, only paid tickets will be registered in a leaderboard. So you could see the different tickets, numbers, and the prices of DOR attached. So for ticket one, <coughs> you get $20 worth of DOR. Then uh, ticket two, you get a $40 DOR. In ticket three, you get up to um, ticket two, you get up to twenty. To ticket three, you get up to forty. Ticket four, you get up to eighty. And ticket five, you get up to one sixty. Down to six ticket, which actually gives you up to three twenty dollar DOR. Now, free users will still get rank points and rewards after the battle. So these are the different reward system. <laughs> For free tickets, you gotta win eight DOR plus forty gold and rank points. So if you lose, you get zero DOR, zero gold, and uh, you get to lose some rank points and if you draw a game you get 4 DOR and 20 gold and then you get rank points then for the paid ticket winners winners get to get 20 DOR and then 100 gold as well as rank points so if you lose you get 0 DOR 0 gold and your rank points is subtracted if you draw the game you get 10 DOR 50 gold and you get some rank points so this is the gacha mode. The gacha is actually a wonderful in-game experience that the Dragonland team has introduced to the community in this open beta version of the game. And the gacha is actually in simple terms a chest box with only one random NFT inside. So gacha can be bought in the in-game stores and it has four types. So the, recently the gacha eggs were named. Um, I think one of them has different names like the Divine, there's Guardian, and you could just check that out and see the different gacha names. Now, the users will get a certain amount of gacha points when purchasing from the store. Gacha points will be uh, used to determine the top 50 gacha users daily, and these users will get extra rewards as per their spending. So the gacha points are not accumulated and they reset daily and midnight. So a limited amount of 900 gacha will be sold per day. 
Now, how do you deposit and withdraw? In this game version, less in the testnet game version, uh, you will be able to deposit and withdraw tokens to your MetaMask wallet. For withdrawals, uh, tax will be applied, so please it's important to check the taxation system. And in the taxation system, rewards will be locked for 24 hours after which uh, you receive your first reward. Players can then make reward withdrawals with free and tax mechanisms that are indicated uh, here. So the withdrawal tax system is such that um, the withdrawal tax is 36% and there will be a default withdrawal fee of 2% of the total withdrawal value that applies to both gold and DOR. Now tax will be reduced 2% per day until it reaches uh, zero and then you can claim a reward with 2% of the claim fee only. So there are important points to note here, like you can claim once and the taxation and lock cycle will restart. If, you, if the withdraw and reward, if you withdraw the reward early, Besides getting the high taxation applied to the withdrawal, you will get a penalty. So a penalty of 6% will be added to your tax for the next cycle and it can increase to a maximum of 72%. So you could get more information about this game version on the Dragonland Medium page. You could actually check out the Twitter page as well as the website or you could join the community uh, on Telegram at Dragonland or Dragonland Global. Thank you.